Good afternoon. Today is Monday. It's gonna be the first time that I can do a vlog, film in my office, and not worry about you guys seeing it because I spent quite a long time filming my wardrobe transformation and then it took quite a long time to just get finished off. So I've been avoiding filming in here, which has been kind of difficult because it's just convenient to film in this room. And uh, I didn't want to show it because it would kind of kill the whole point of the transformation video. So it's been kind of a bit of a secret, but that video has just gone live. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I've just had a delivery from some brands currently wearing a lovely new Gymshark puffer, which has arrived just in time for winter. And then Loyalty Footwear have just dropped some new heat for my feet. Take a look here. As you can see, I've got three spanking new pairs of trainers, which I'm very excited. I mean, it's always very dangerous having white kicks in the winter, but you pick your locations well, you get away with it. But those gray ones at the back, they'll be fine. But it's all go today because the electricians are in and they are starting on the lounge downstairs because this week we're getting our log burner installed. So they start on Tuesday building a chimney breast and obviously doing all of the log burner flue and stuff. So it's gonna be quite a big job. But Lydia and I actually go off to Finland. So we're not gonna be here during the build, which is kind of nice because we're gonna be away from all the noise and all of the mayhem. However, it also means that I'm not gonna be able to document it properly. So I think we'll quickly go downstairs, see the room in its current state. And then when I get back, probably on a different vlog, we'll be able to see what it's like when it's finished. Or I might just do this video for a week, we'll see. But if not, it'll be in another vlog, it's all cool. It's exciting to get that started and also just in time for Christmas. To have a log burner at Christmas would be amazing and it's looking very promising. That is where we're at. So yeah, let's go and take a look downstairs and see how the lads are getting on. All right, so we've got the uh, electrical technicians in today working to uh, BS7671. <laughs> <laughs> MVQ level three. This is the start. I think you can kind of see on the walls, I've marked out where the log burner's gonna go. Um, here. Mantelpiece is gonna be roughly there. And then I think the lads are working on putting a potential power and TV point out to go on the front, but that's undecided. I want a picture. Lydia fancies a TV, so we'll see. They're moving the downlighters in from the walls just slightly further out, so they're in between the speakers and the wall because we're gonna have coving that goes all the way around the room, so the downlighters need moving across. And then we're gonna have a center light that goes in here. Again, it's gonna be moved across, drop down into the middle of the room in between what's gonna be a couple of sofas and then a coffee table. And then if we spin around onto the back wall, we're gonna move these electrical points, stick a mirror, and a uh, side table here with lights either side. So that's the plan for the living room. And by December, we're hoping to have the log burner in, the electrics done, the coving in, and it decorated. So um, time will tell, but it's all, all gonna be kind of like last minute because the coving goes in on the 10th of December, and then they're gonna take at least a week, uh, not just to do that, but they've got other stuff to do in the house. And then the decorators start and they're gonna be following up behind them. So, Operation Lounge begins. Right, so Lids has received from Vorwerk, the creators behind the Thermomix, or as Patricia Bright calls it, the Instamix. Insta <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> and um, they also are the guys behind the Hoover Mop, which is an incredible piece of kit. We now have our hands on the Cabold, VR300. Cabold? Cabold! <laughs> and um, <laughs> this is a robot hoover, which you just let go around your house and hoover up. So when you've got messy trades in, as uh, Carl says, McCann. <laughs> <laughs> is that what Carl calls No, Carl the plumber oh, call, <laughs> calls Matt Can McCann. <laughs> it follows up and tidies up their crap. So I'm going to unbox it, check it out, see how good it is. Now, I'm no professional, but what I'm assuming is, Ooh. is that this here is the charging dock, and this bit of kit here has some smart technology that when it's running low on battery, it takes itself back to the dock. Do you think? And charges. It I takes itself back? I don't know, should we find out? It's like taking yourself home after a night out. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and it just docks up here to bed. <laughs> and then that, powers from an electrical point. So we're gonna have a little look through the instructions, find out what all of the little components are, because um, they're all listed here. Set it up and set her off. 
so the unit is currently on charge but it appears to be fully charged because all of the green lights are solid i'm going to download the app and then try and get on the wi-fi awkward moment when their unboxing video is 10 times better than yours and she actually opened the box the right way up Here he comes. You be careful of my skirtings, mate. And he's off. So whilst the kobold is busy hoovering the house, quickly run you through what the guys have done. So, so they've stripped out all the electrics that were behind the fireplace because obviously you can't have none of that going on behind there. So that's ready to be fireboarded. They've left in the TV cable and PowerPoint ready to pull around the face of the fireplace because we potentially might have that TV going up. They've also put in our wall lights ready to be equally balanced between the breast. And they've moved the center light in the ceiling because that's now ready to have a pendant on it. They've also stripped out a few bits and bobs on the back wall. So yeah, this room is now ready for the guys to come in and install the breast tomorrow, which is very exciting. And then I think we'll check in again when I return from Finland on the weekend three two one and just like that we have a brand new fireplace doesn't that look insane i'm so happy with how this has turned out so we've gone for a arrow five widescreen burner which is around about five kilowatt and then we've gone with some herringbone brick inserts with this limestone mantelpiece and then we had in built into the fireplace itself um, a tv which is looking very seamless. And then we went for a slate hearth. So that's kind of like the fireplace. Obviously, there's so much more to do. We still need to put coving uh, around the top, wall lights on, the wall needs decorating, which I think we've discussed before in one of my videos. We're gonna be going for the Hague blue, um, which is this very beautiful color blue here. Room's gonna be quite dark in that respect, uh, but it's gonna feel very cozy and it's gonna create that atmosphere that Lids and I are really looking for. And with all of these windows in this room, I think if there's any room that could handle a dark colored paint, it's gonna be this room. So obviously there's so much to do, like I said, some lights need doing, moving in. We need to put some new carpet down, some new furnishings. So there's so much that this room has left to do, but that's the fireplace. That was the main workload that was going into this room and it's been done. So coming back from Finland and seeing that was just such a treat. Today is Monday and I'm gonna be heading into London for a couple of meetings, but currently sitting down having breakfast eggs, coffee, got ya. <laughs> As you can see behind me, there's a little sneak peek of Christmas tree. Lids and I have been very busy installing three Christmas trees around the house and obviously doing all of the shopping to make sure that we've got all of the decorations for three new trees. So yeah, it's been a pretty hectic weekend. It's been quite non-stop since we got back from Finland, hence why I've not picked up my camera until today. I think today Lids is gonna be decorating the trees, but I'm not sure. I think that's probably what her plan is gonna be. They're gonna be looking awesome by the time I get home this evening. Another new little addition to the house, we've got this Christmassy candle and uh, decor. It's like a wreath that sits around the candles. So yes, as you can see, we're getting in the festive spirit. We're fast approaching December. Lids and I just absolutely love Christmas. So we do go a little bit OTT this time of year. Just finished off getting ready to head down to London. I thought I'd quickly show you guys what I'm wearing. I've gone for a gray cashmere scarf and a stone colored All Saints hoodie. And then I've got this Oliver Sweeney navy jacket on. And then I've got some crafted London jewelry. And then on the bottom half, I've gone for some stretch fit Zara trousers. These are so comfortable. And then I'm taking the new loyalty footwear sneakers for their first spin. So I'm all dressed, ready to go. I've also got my Dior backpack, which is gonna have the camera and my laptop in because I need to get busy editing that Finland vlog. Taxi's outside. Let's head down to London and get these meetings done. Yo, what's up? So we just arrived into London and we're currently at the Granary Square restaurant and it's really nice in here. feeling it. it's like kind of like a blend of industrial but luxe. Really nice blend. But anyway, we're gonna jump into a meeting, uh, have some food, a couple of coffees, and then I think afterwards I'm gonna jump into another meeting and then ready to head back. 
just got home from London after a very successful day of meetings. It was really lovely catching up with Janine from Armani. And then I caught the tube, the rush hour tube in London. Wow. If anybody is living or based or has visited London and caught the tube during a rush hour, you know what I'm talking about. And it's only getting worse as Christmas approaches. It's going to get busier and busier and busier. It's intense to say the least at times. But anyway, we're home. We've got lots of space now and comfort and quiet. I'm going to crack on and do a little bit of editing for Lydia. She just needs me to add a couple of clips to one of her videos. So I'm going to help her out and do that before it gets published in about an hour's time. So I'm going to chuck some comfies on, go downstairs, do that. And then I think I need to put the fire on in the lounge because at the moment we're still bedding it in. You start off doing a small kindling fire and then you do one reload. And then the next night you do another reload. And after that you continue to load it and load it and load it until you get a full blown fire on the final day and then the fire's bedded in so all of the paint um, or whatever it is that's on the side of the log burner gets baked in it's probably the wrong terminology i'm probably going to sign the vlog off here i'm excited to show you the lounge as it progresses uh, i think in two weeks time we have the carpenter coming in to fit the coving and the skirt and all of the bits that we discussed earlier on as well as of course the decorator the electrician and the carpet guy hasn't even been organized yet but we do need to organize that and then the room is going to be almost bar furnishing which Lydia and Sarah are going to be working on anyway complete so it's really exciting to have that done I'm going to love you and leave you we'll see you on the next one uh, the next video of course is going to be that Finland video that we've just come back from see you on the next one peace